Happy Easter, Pokemon trainers! Professor Chaz here, the Lab Coats on Back Order, and I'm bringing you a special sort of a holiday-themed event video thingy today. I've decided, what can I actually do to have an upload for Easter that is Easter-themed? And I was thinking, I haven't had an episode of Pokemon Sun or Moon this week, so I want to do something in here, and I've decided I'm going to show off some stuff that I'm starting to do here in Pokemon Moon, and that is breeding Pokemon. You can see I have a lot of eggs ready to roll, and I got some pretty interesting Pokemon coming out of these eggs. I hope we're going to see some of these cool hatching on the video here so we're gonna start off getting ready to hatch these eggs because of course eggs being related to Easter and all that good stuff so we're gonna see some cool hatchings coming out here what's the first one gonna be because I sort of randomized where the eggs are going but we see we've got a Cyndaquil out of the egg all right now let's check out the stats of this Pokemon here stats and abilities and all that good stuff move set so we're going to not nickname it for the time being let's see what this Cyndaquil has to work with it's pretty relaxed, which is good. It has the Flash Fire ability, which is the hidden ability for a good old Cyndaquil. Flash Fire powers up the Pokemon's fire type moves if it's hit by one. And I guess the nature isn't super amazing. Like, I'm doing some breeding with these Pokemon to try to get good natures on them. And I'm not sure what the IVs are like, but we can check those in a little bit. But you'll see it's got Leer. Well, okay, Leer. It's got Extra Sensory, Flame Burst, and Double Kick. And I think a few of those are actually egg moves. All right, let's see what egg number two has to hatch up for us. wonder what this one's going to be. And some of these Pokemon I don't yet have the hidden abilities for, but what I want to start doing is breeding up Pokemon with hidden abilities, like the starter Pokemon and any Pokemon in general. You see, we have a Charmander here. But I want to see if I can start breeding Pokemon with the hidden abilities and being able to wonder trade them off to people, give them out to you folks out there that watch the videos. We're going to nickname Charmander. We're going to see what this one has to work with. What do you get there, Charmander? We'll see on the bottom screen. It does have the Solar Power ability. And the moveset is Growl, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Dance, and Outrage. So not a lot of amazing, you know, special type moves there, because of course, Solar Power, if you're unaware, boosts the special attack stat in sunny weather, so it goes up by 50%, but HP decreases by one-eighth of the maximum every turn. Now, what's nice about these Charmander that I'm breeding, they do have a beneficial nature, as you'll see. Special attack up, attack down. That is a quiet nature, I believe. No, sorry, modest nature. So... If you want to make these more special offensive, which Solar Power is going to help with, special attack being the boosted stat with the nature is going to be very, very good. And I find a lot of the times Pokemon or Charmander, you're going to learn a lot of special based moves off of TMs, or just basic level up moves as is anyway. Like Flamethrower, you can evolve to Charizard, you can get Air Slash, and Solar Beam is a good one too. So a lot of the special moves are going to be TM teachable. But here we see hatching a Chikorita. Now I don't have any sort of rabbit themed Pokemon being hatched today. There is no like, you know, rabbit, uh, there's no rabbit starter Pokemon, are there? Not that I can recall. But I was thinking for more Easter themed, I could have had some sort of bunny type character. But we don't have one of those available in the starter form. So Chikorita here has just the basic overgrow ability, but I do have more Chikorita eggs on the go. I am breeding for the Leaf Guard ability, which prevents status conditions in sunny weather so a lot of the pokemon i shouldn't say a lot but some of the pokemon that you are the starter pokemon gain beneficial stats in weather like Char or charmander gets better special attack in the sunny day and sunny day benefits the leaf guard ability or hidden ability of chikorita preventing status conditions so you'll see the nature is also beneficial here this is quiet I believe, yep. Special attack up and speed down. And these Pokemon are being born with Leech Seed, Aromatherapy, Ancient Power, and Counter. Now, I can change that up a little bit. I am able to pass on Leaf Storm to these Pokemon as well. So I might do that for some of the other ones. But you'll see I hatched a female Chikorita, so I could breed more using this Pokemon as a base. Alright, let's see what egg number four hatches up. I'm not going to show all the hatchings because the six Pokemon that I'm hatching in group one are the same Pokemon in the other groups, just different nature, or maybe not different nature, but different possible natures, different abilities. Here we see a Torchic being hatched. I guess that kind of fits with uh, Easter. It's almost like a little peep, you know? So this Torchic has some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool stuff to work with from what I recall. Let's take a look at Torchic here. I'm hatching a lot of fire stars if you haven't noticed. So, it does have the speed boost ability. This is actually sort of a Torchic that I got off of Wonder Trade. Low Kick, Last Resort, Curse, and Reversal. So, a lot of egg moves on this Pokemon. 
The nature is beneficial. It is adamant. Attack up and special attack down. You can make this a physical Blaziken with some cool physical moves like... Well, how powerful is Low Kick? Actually, it doesn't say, but it's more powerful the heavier the opponent. So it is, of course, super effective on rock types, which you'd be weak to. And that's what Torchic has to work with, so it does have the speed boost ability. Let us now check out egg number five. And if I recall with what I've set up for hatching, this should be a non-hidden ability Pokemon. I'm trying to think. I think I know the last two that are going to be hatching here. This one is going to be from the Kanto region. It is Squirtle. I don't yet have a Rain Dish Squirtle. I'm seeing if I can still do some training on the Pokemon Global Link, the GTS there. Get myself one of those hidden ability Squirtle. But it's got some cool, uh, cool moves at least. I can't say the word cool today. But it's got some cool moves at least. This Squirtle has... It's got Tackle. It also has Water Pulse, Aqua Ring, and Aqua Jet. And those last two I'm pretty sure are the uh, egg, or, yeah, egg moves that it normally can't get. Nature is not super beneficial. I don't have one yet that uh, I'm passing the nature on from... If you're not sure how to do that, breeding Pokemon, if one of the two parent Pokemon holds an Everstone, <clears throat> that Pokemon passes on its nature to the offspring. So if I had something with a, uh, I don't know, maybe speed down and one of the defenses up or something, I could pass that nature on, because you're not going to want to use speed on a Squirtle or a Blastoise anyway. You want, uh, probably want one of the defenses to go up higher. But, the last Pokemon's going to hatch is, I'm pretty sure, another Kanto Pokemon. And you can probably guess what it is. We already hashed a Charmander. We already hashed a Squirtle. I gotta stop and think. Did I breed up Bulbasaur for this? I did. Now, I can't remember exactly. What moves do you have? What I really like about the Kanto starters, they all hatch with a certain special move of their own type. Like, Charmander are all born normally with Flare Blitz. Bulbasaur normally hatches with Petal Dance. And for Squirtle, I don't know. It might be Water Pulse that they start with. Let's see if Bulbasaur keeps that Petal Dance, or if other moves have overridden it. We've got Growth, Curse, Ingrain, and Petal Dance. So it does keep the Petal Dance. Curse and Ingrain are pretty good, because you're going to... If you use Ingrain, you lock yourself into battle. You can't switch out, but you heal back every turn. Couple that with Black Sludge, you can get lots of recovery every turn. Curse is going to increase your attack and uh, defense, but it's going to drop your speed, not that it really matters. And I've also given this Pokemon a beneficial nature of Quiet. Special attack going up, and speed going down. So, that's what I have for starter Pokemon. Now, for your chance to get one of these special, I guess, not really Easter-themed Pokemon, but for your chance to get one of these special hatched Pokemon, all you have to do is ask. Just leave a comment down below if you're interested in one of these particular kinds of Pokemon. Let me know, and we can work out a time to do a trade back and forth, because I'm not hatching these just to collect them. I want you folks to have access to these Pokemon. Not that they're super beneficial for IVs. In fact, you know what? Before we hatch any more... I'm going to go and check out the IVs of these Pokemon. Let's just see if this Torchic has something pretty cool it's working with. Speed boost, same moves. There we go, same adamant nature. What I'm going to do here is click on the little sign here. And let's check the uh, potential judge and see what they say about these Pokemon that have just hatched. So see, not super amazing stats. Oh, that's a female Charmander. I didn't even notice. But it's got the best special defense, pretty good uh, defense and speed. Cyndaquil is actually quite nice. It's in a Beast Ball, too, which is pretty cool. Speed and HP are the best. Everything else is at least pretty good or higher. The Torchic, wow. Those are some pretty good IVs right there. The parents both have good IVs, so that's why a lot of them passed on. That's a very nice uh, Torchic. Not a bad Chikorita, either. Uh, the fence is not the super amazingly best, but everything else is quite good. Squirtle, let's just not even talk about that. That's not really super amazing. And the Bulbasaur is not crazy good, either. But... They are what they are. You can always uh, hyper-train these Pokemon to get to their maximum IVs anyway. But yeah, if you're interested in any of these Pokemon, just leave a comment down below and let me know. I might probably set aside some time later tonight on Easter Sunday, maybe on Easter Monday evening, to uh, do some trades with you folks out there. Because later on today, I am going to be recording some viewer Wi-Fi battles in Sun and Moon versus you folks out there using sort of an Easter-themed team. I'm not going to say who I'm using exactly. You'll have to wait and see it in battle. But... We'll see what happens there. I'm just trying to see if I can hatch a shiny Pokemon. That'd be pretty cool for today's video. I doubt it's going to happen. But yeah, in a few hours' time, I'm going to upload a video. Probably, I'm not sure when this video is going to go live, so I shouldn't say, oh, I bet a few hours from now, but later on today, you'll see a video go up in which I'm letting you know when I'm looking for opponents and the format of the battles and stuff. Because for the next couple hours, I kind of want to go and make good use of the 
extravaganza event in Pokemon Go, try to hatch a few more 2km eggs, because some pretty rare Pokemon are coming out of those eggs, from what I've seen. Let's just hatch this last one here, and we'll call this video good for the day, as we get prepared for some viewer battles in Sun and Moon. Hopefully, my recording is going to work this time. I still feel bad that I did a battle against Samurott 59 in Pokemon TCG Online, which halfway through the video just would not play anymore. And I couldn't show it off. I really gotta get a new computer at some point. Like, just this current one is not... It's I think it's kind of running onto its last legs here, which is unfortunate. Yes, I'm hatching another egg. I said that last one would be the last one. No, I wanna see... I wanna see Shiny Bulbasaur. Show me the Shiny Bulbasaur. It's funny when some people put up some trades online. I saw someone offering a Shiny Bulbasaur for a level 1 to 10 Dragonite. You can't get a level 1 to 10 Dragonite. That's just teasing. That's just taunting. That's no fair. Alright, Cyndaquil is hatched. Let's just hatch just one last one in this section. And then we will call it a day. I guarantee this time. Actually, wait. There is one last thing I want to do. It's an Easter miracle. But I finally did the code card drawings on time from this week's Pokemon News Update video thingy. I have found the two winners. I only had two people leaving a comment. Which means I have a third code card, which is up for grabs. So for the first person to enter this code for an X and Y Breakpoint Booster Pack into Pokemon TCG Online, it is yours for the taking. And if you can't see this, I'm not sure if it's going to focus on the camera or not. I will put it in a description, or in the description, down below. First person to get that code and put it into Pokemon TCG Online, it is your pack to keep. As sort of an Easter present to you folks out there. And that is going to be it for this brief little sort of an Easter-themed holiday video. I just hatched another female Charmander. You see that? That is cool. But, as I say, that is that. So I want to say, well, thanks for watching today's video, folks. Happy Easter to everybody out there. And if you don't celebrate Easter, happy Sunday. You know, just enjoy the day, a nice day of relaxation. But we are now done. Come on back in a few hours' time and check out for a video when I'm looking for opponents in Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi Battles. And I'm going to bring a sort of Easter-themed team, for the most part. I've already selected who I'm going to bring, but you'll see anyway. And that is going to be that. So I want to say once again, thanks for watching today's video. Professor Chaz is signing off until later on. Until then, I will catch you next time.